Shalom, everybody. Rabbi Edelstein here with a surprise installment of Rabbi Ian 3, brought to you as always by Moor DC. What's going on? I'm all dressed up. You're thinking, is Rabbi E going out on the town tonight? No, I'm not going out tonight. I'm going in tonight. In fact, going into the sea. Now, that's a little bit of a cute sea way to begin, but I got to get into the topic, and time is very short. What's going on? Tonight is a holiday. Well, you're saying, well, I know it's the holiday of Pesach, but we already had the main part of Pesach the first day, the first two nights, really, in the diaspora, the Seder nights. No. Tonight is the seventh night of Pesach, Shvi Yishel Pesach. It's a holy day, a Yom Tov, like the first day, or the first two days in the diaspora, were. That's why I'm all dressed up, to have a festive meal, the seventh night of Pesach. It's in the Torah, that the first day should be holy and the seventh day should be holy. Now, what happened on the seventh night? We already left Egypt. Every one of us Jewish people relived the Exodus on the Seder nights. We literally engaged in a Yitzias Mitzrayim, leaving Egypt. But what's special about tonight? It's the end of Pesach, but what's unique about the seventh night of Pesach? Think back, if you remember the story, what happened? When we left Egypt, when Pharaoh rushed us out of there, that was not the end of the story. We thought it was, but it wasn't. There was the crossing of the Yam Suf. Pharaoh has a change of heart, instigated by Hashem himself, and Pharaoh and the armies pursue the Jewish people, and they arrive on the seventh night. We're camped in front of the Yam Suf, the Sea of Reeds, and the armies are coming, and we have nowhere to go, and Hashem tells Moshe to tell the people, tell the Jewish people, journey forth, and the sea will split for them. And we had to go in, and we did, and the sea split, and it was not just one miracle, miracle upon miracles. The rabbis tell us in the oral tradition, every tribe of the Jewish people had its own pathway. The walls of water were solid. They could see through, though, so there was a unified feeling, and there was fresh water, completely dry land, many, many miracles. And then the Egyptian armies pursued us in in their headlong rush to try to destroy us. They ended up destroying themselves. The waters came back in the early morning on them. The Egyptians were dead, and we sang an incredible song of ecstatic love to God for having saved us, for having shown us his great hand. The Torah says we saw the great hand that Hashem inflicted upon Egypt, and the people revered Hashem, and they, quote, had faith in Hashem and in Moshe, his servant, v'yaminu b'Hashem Moshe avdo. And then we sing the ecstatic song that is actually part of our morning prayers every single day, Shirat Hayam, with many beautiful verses, including, Micha mocha bo'elim Hashem, who is like unto you, O God, in all the forces in the universe, you are the one and only source of everything. Wow. So tonight's a special night of Pesach. It's the culmination of the Exodus. And from an experiential point of view, the Jewish people, when our ancestors, when we left Egypt, we showed faith. We slaughtered the Passover lamb. We put the blood on the doorposts. But the great commentators explained there was something still we had to do. More uh, less participatory. We had to, so to speak, go right into the waters to show our faith. An amuna, a faith not just in the head, but be'evarim, in the limbs. We had to walk in the water, every one of us, before it split. We didn't sit back there and God just split it. We had to walk, and the rabbis tell us that it was up to here, and then the sea split, and we were walking in dry land. We had to put our faith, not just where our mouth was, but where our feet were, going into the sea. It's a joyous night. It's an incredible night. It's the pinnacle of Pesach. It's the pinnacle of the opportunity Pesach presents to us to strengthen our emuna. It says they had faith in Hashem and in Moshe. They already had faith, but they deepened their faith. Faith is not static. It's an ever-growing awareness of Hashem, of His oneness, of His power. Have a wonderful, beautiful Shvi'i Shel Pesach.